Hello everyone, I hope you're doing good and staying safe. Welcome to Simply Code's YouTube channel and in today's tutorial, we'll be going through indexing in MongoDB. But firstly, I hope my audio is fine and the screen is clearly visible to you guys. If you guys are facing any issue, let us know in the comment section and we'll try to fix it as soon as possible. Well, I see only a few people have joined the session, so let us just wait for another two minutes so that rest of them will also join us. But in the meantime, I would like to update you guys. We have regular updates on multiple technologies and programming languages on our channel. So if you're a tech geek and in the pursuit of learning something new and new technologies, consider getting subscribed to our channel Simply Code to stay updated with all the latest tech content and hit that bell icon to never miss an update from us. All right, I think most of you have joined the session, so let us just uh, get going. Well, a good indexing strategy is essential for ensuring that your you know, database returns your results as quickly as possible. Now, just like any other relational databases where we perform indexing, similarly, indexing in MongoDB is also a way to organize information so that the database engine can quickly find the relevant results. More on that soon. But before we get started, let us first discuss the agenda for today's session. In today's tutorial, we'll be going through different concepts wherein we'll cover what are indexes in MongoDB and then we'll understand why is indexing used in MongoDB and up next, we'll discuss how does indexing work and then we'll understand how to create an index and after that, we'll be going through different types of indexes used in MongoDB and finally, we'll end this session uh, with syntax and execution in MongoDB shell. I hope I made myself clear with the agenda part. So let us just go ahead and understand what are indexes in MongoDB. So what are indexes in MongoDB? Now MongoDB indexes a special data structure on which the data is on which the index is created to hold the data of specific fields of document. Now in the absence of uh, you know fields in the fields and uh, indexing in MongoDB, there is a need to scan every collection document to select those. Uh, that match the query statement. Now this scan requires MongoDB to process a large volume of data and is highly efficient. So if there is no indexing done on a collection of let's say thousands of documents, your query will keep finding specific documents in order. However, MongoDB would limit and make it clear the number of documents to be searched within your collection if your documents have indexes. So with the help of indexes, when they are applied at the collection level, it can store the value of a specific field or set of fields ordered by the value of the field. So those were that is what indexes are in MongoDB. Let us now understand why is indexing used in MongoDB. Now MongoDB's indexes make it unnecessary to perform a collection scan. Now from that what I mean is a collection scan basically involves looking through every document in a collection that matches to your query that you have returned to find a particular uh, document or a field that you are trying to return. So when you provide an indexing on documents, let's say on a database that you have like a thousands or 50,000 records, you can just simply put an index which will improve the search efficiency as well. Now, any collection in MongoDB can have one or more indexes and those indexes can be made on one or multiple fields. And even though a MongoDB database can hold a lot of data, you need a good indexing strategy to quickly and effectively access the data you require from it. And finally, indexing is a necessary operation in MongoDB, which automatically brings search efficiency in various executions of statements. All right, moving ahead, let us now understand how to create an index. Now, creating an index in MongoDB is done by using the create index method. So let us just quickly go through the syntax. Uh, so the syntax is followed as db.collectionName.createIndex is the keyword and make sure the i in index is capital otherwise it will throw an error. Within the parenthesis mention the field name that you want to create an index on and next we have one or minus one. So now this following syntax shows how to add an index to our collection. So let us assume we have you know same uh, like employee collection which is an example, which has various fields name like employee ID, name, salary or so on. But for this, I'm creating an index on employee name and I'm specifying as one. Now the one parameter indicates that when the index is created with the employee name field value, they should be sorted in ascending order. Now, please, you have to note that it is 
different from the you know hashtag id which is the by default id which is uh, you know created when you are creating a document so the id field is used to uniquely identify each document in a collection which is created automatically in the collection by mongodb and the document will now be sorted as per the employee name and not the id field so i hope you've uh, understood how to create an example you will get a clear cut idea when we go into the execution part in mongodb so Make sure to watch the video till the end guys. All right, moving ahead. Let us now discuss the types of indexes used in MongoDB. Now there are mainly three types of indexes in MongoDB. The first one is single field index. Next we have the compound compound index and finally we have the multi key index. Let us discuss uh, about each of them in detail now. Now we know that a field in a document in a collection can be indexed individually. So as the name suggests single field index is used to create an index on only a single field in a document so below is an example and the syntax for single field index uh, on an uh, tape on a collection named as orders so the syntax is db dot collection name dot create index and within the parenthesis field name so you can either index them in the order of ascending or descending by mentioning one or minus one so i've considered an example here of orders a collection where i've created an index on a field called price and i'm mentioning as minus 1 so it will basically index in descending order that is from highest to lowest next we have the compound index now a compound index is formed when multiple fields are combined into a one single index so a compound index is generally an index that holds a reference to multiple fields within a collection so for example i have taken another uh, collection i mean the same collection of orders and i'm creating an index where i'm uh, creating index for multiple fields here which is for price and for customer name so again the syntax is same which is db dot mention the collection name dot create index which is the keyword and within the parenthesis you can give as much as many as you know field names to your name to your sorry to your collection so i hope you have understood what is compound index as well so and finally we have what is uh, multi key index now mongodb supports a multi key index for each element inside the array for an array field so these elements consist of you know scalar fields like string values integer values or even nested objects now the uh, syntax is same you just have to mention uh, the collection uh, name and mention the create index keyword and within the parenthesis mention the field name which is of only array type so multi key index you know automatically creates a multi key index on an array by knowing its structure so therefore you need not additionally define a multi key index in such case so no additional definition is required as such so let us understand with an example here now let's say i have a document here uh different documents like i have three different documents in a collection of orders which has various fields such as id customer address payment mode email order total and order items now if you look at this collection i have order items which has an array values for example we have for first id uh, for customer rahul we have four different array values of order items like item name notebook and item name paper item name journal item name postcard so if i want to create a multi key index i'll just simply write a query as db dot orders dot create index and within the parenthesis mention the collection uh, mention the field name that is which is order items and on which you want to perform multi key indexing now i want to perform uh, indexing on price which is a array value within a collection right so that is why i'm taking as order items dot price and the order in which it will index is ascending so for that i'm giving the parameter as one so with that we have covered all the three different main types of uh, key indexing indexes that we generally use in mongodb so let us now switch into mongodb for execution part and see how they actually perform now we do not uh, clearly see that how the indexing is going but it will definitely improve the search efficiency if you are working on you know more than you know let's say thousands and thousands of records so let us now jump into uh, mongodb shell for execution part all right so as you can see mongodb shell has started and firstly let us see uh, what are the databases that are present so for that i'll use the show dbs and we'll again use the simply code one or uh, dbs that we have all previously used so use simply code 
one. It says switch to simply code. Now, if you want to find all the collections that are present in that, you just have to write show collections. So we have one collection which is employee. So we'll use that. So in order to find the values or the documents that are present in this collection, we'll just uh, write the uh, db command, which is db dot employee dot find. So it will just display all the values. Type it for all the values. So as you can see, we have various different documents in this. So we'll just perform a simple index now. We'll just create a single field index now, which is basically a normal field index that you create. So the uh, query would be db dot employee create mention the in create index keyword and within the parenthesis. Uh, so let us just create uh, you know an index on salary field here, right? So mention the salary field mention the hyphen and we will uh, index this in ascending order so i'm giving the parameter here as one so let us execute the statement so when you execute the statement it says salary underscore one which is basically means your index that you have created which is has been successfully executed so now that you've created your index and if you want to view uh, what are the indexes that you have created you need to use the get indexes keyword so let us just find again. So I'll use the statement db.employee, which is a collection name. Now you need to use the get indexes. Make sure the i is a capital, otherwise, you will find an error. Get indexes. And when you enter uh, the and when you enter this, and if you'll find this a list of following uh, indexes that you have created. Now I have already created now, as I said earlier in the tutorial, the ID field is automatically created. Uh, within the you know database which uh, you know automatically creates the index for the uh, underscore id but additional to that i've already created email uh, index on our uh, you know employee table and just now i have created the salary index also so you can see the list of all these uh, you know uh, indexes that you have created now let's say if you want to you know delete or drop any of the index that you have created so in that case you have to use the drop index so I'll just uh, you know write the statement again, which is db dot employee dot uh, mention the keyword drop index, okay, and within the uh, parenthesis mention the index that you want to drop. So let's say if I want to drop the email, I find it unnecessary now. So I'll just write uh, the email uh, you know key key, which is a field, and I'll mention this uh, one, and I'll just close the bar parenthesis and I'll close the brackets as well. So as you can see, it says, okay, uh, you know, this, it says n indexes uh, is three and okay one. That means you have finally, you know, dropped the index. So we'll just use again this, you know, get index uh, and see whether it is successfully del deleted or not. Let's just copy paste here and let us enter. So now you can see that we have only two fields, which is the uh, underscore ID, which is, now by default, which is the index that I've created by the database itself. And additionally, we have the salary index that we have created earlier. And successfully, we have deleted the email index from our collection or the database. So I hope you've understood till now. So that is what, uh, you know, index is about. You know, you just create index to uh, improve the search efficiency. Now, behind the uh, database, the performance optimization or the efficiency can be achieved, which cannot be viewed outside. So, I hope you understood how to create a single field here. Well, let us now move to compound index and we'll see how to create it also. So, I uh, as discussed earlier, you can use multiple fields in a MongoDB document to create a compound index. So, I'll just create a uh, compound index on another fields. So I'll just create index and within the parenthesis. Okay, let us now create a uh, you know index for let's say job ID. Job ID. I am giving it as minus one. The order. Mention the comma and uh, let us create an index for let's say department ID as well. department id and i'm giving this a uh, parameter one it will basically index in the ascending order so close the parenthesis 
so as you can see it is saying job id 1 department id 1 that is me that means you have successfully created the index so let us just uh, confirm whether they have created or not so let us copy paste again so now as you can see we have another two indexes that we have created which says you know job id and for department id as well so this is how you can create a compound index in your mongodb database as well so in the compound uh, in the above compound index that will we have created the mongodb will first sort by the job id in the descending order since we have provided minus one as the parameter it will basically sort all the documents in the descending order then with each uh, department id it will sort in ascending order since we have provided the parameter as one now the index would create a similar st a data structure for the department id also which basically sorts the data in the ascending order so that brings us uh, to the final which is multi key index now i don't think we have you know array of fields or the array of data in our document documents so that we can perform uh, but for now i think i hope you understood how to implement multi key multi key index as well it just supports supports indexing of array of data so when you create an index for a field containing an array mongodb will create a separate index entries for every element in the array data so i think we have already almost covered all the topics that we have uh, discussed in our agenda and i hope you guys have understood as well uh, so that brings us to the end of today's session guys i hope you have understood what are indexes and how they are used you know to uh, search the data in a efficient and a more quick way so defining indexes are important you know for faster and efficient searching of documents in a collection and these indexes can be created by the uh, using create index method so i'm just recapping what we have covered uh, and indexes can be created on just one field by using the single field uh, index method or multiple fields using the compound index and you can even uh, create indexes on array of fields using the multi key index as well so i hope uh, you have found this tutorial informative and helpful also thank you for watching the video guys if you found this tutorial informative and helpful give it a like and share it with your friends and colleagues and if you have further queries regarding any of the topics covered in today's session feel free to let us know in the comment section below and a team of experts will be more than happy to help resolve all your queries at the earliest let us know in the comment section as well uh, on which topics of mongodb we should be covering next and we will uh, look it out and we'll definitely try to cover in our upcoming tutorials until next time stay safe and keep coding